Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I got another Tacoma upgrade video for you. So if you notice right here in the rear view mirror, this is an just an auto dimming mirror. So it doesn't have the home link for the garage controls on it, which is kind of disappointing since this is a an over $40,000 truck. It's kind of disappointing when I got it, but uh, Somehow I stumbled across the fact that I could easily just replace this mirror. And so uh, that's what we're doing today. So I picked this mirror up right here from Bob's Automotive Mirrors. I will put a link to his website in the description. It's bobsmirrors.com. And so that's what we're installing today. Should be pretty easy to do since there should only be one screw and one plug. In order to put the home link mirror in, you do have to have the auto dimming mirror already installed. So we need a T20 Torx bit. Move the screw in the bottom. Removing it because I will need it in the new mirror. Go ahead and just set that in place. And then there's a cover for the wire. Not sure how it comes out. There it goes. Let's see if I broke it. So this is the way that that little cover looks. You can see the hooks on it. The hook down in there. This just covers up the wire coming down that the mirror is plugged into. Comes off and unplugs. Comes off and unplugs, nice and easy. Okay, so new mirror. Plugs in nice and easy. Place the clip. And there we go, it's installed. Let's see if we can set it up. So if you didn't notice, it dimmed right, it dimmed down right away. The C up in the corner does mean that it needs to be calibrated. All right. 
So one of the reasons I wanted to do this, I actually have my garage door opener right there, just hooked onto the edge of my sunroof here. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I prefer that over having it hooked to one of my sun visors. So we'll go ahead and clear it out, make sure that it's clear. All right. The next thing we do is we grab the remote to program it. It looks like it's programmed. arrow shows that it was that it went down so let's see arrow is showing that it's going back up that's pretty awesome so all I need to do in order to calibrate the mirror is drive around in a circle, I guess, in a left-handed circle, and it'll be calibrated. So I guess that's it. This was a nice, easy, short video. Only took a few minutes to swap it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more I Can Do It Myself videos.